Let's look at a few things to remember when we do absorption costing or variable absorption costing. The first thing is cost of sales should be shown as opening inventory plus production costs and the produ production costs could be shown separately or in total but just remember to show all your workings. So if we show it separately we'll have material, labor, variable manufacturing overheads and fixed manufacturing overheads. And then we'll have closing stock which we uh, deduct and that will give us our cost of sales. Now something to remember that if we are busy with a variable costing income statement this will be our variable cost of sales so our opening and closing inventory will not include fixed manufacturing overheads and we will not have this line item fixed manufacturing overheads. For absorption costing we will include fixed manufacturing overheads and this amount will be the allocated fixed manufacturing overheads. What is allocated fixed manufacturing overheads? It's the actual number of units produced times the predetermined overhead allocation rate which we calculate using budgeted figures and normal capacity. So make sure of that. Um, and then since we use allocated fixed manufacturing overheads when we do absorption costing, this will differ from the actual overheads. So the difference between allocated on the one, one side and of actual on the other side, so allocated fixed manufacturing overheads and actual, the difference is our over or under allocation of fixed manufacturing overheads. So make sure that you understand how to do that. Remember there's three different figures, there's budgeted fixed manufacturing overheads, allocated fixed manufacturing overheads and actual. The difference, difference between allocated and actual, that is the over or under allocation. And we include this in our cost of sales calculation. So for accounting purposes, IAS2, this overall under allocation goes to cost of sales. Um, obviously, we've spoken about inventory valuation in the previous video. So for variable costing, we exclude fixed manufacturing overhead. So it's only this first three. And then for absorption costing, we include it. Finally, just watch out for budget versus actual. So if they ask you for a budgeted statement of profit or loss, use budgeted figures. If they ask for actual, use the actual figures. It's simple, but it's easily overlooked, especially if there's a lot of information. And also watch out for first in, first out versus weighted average. That will affect your opening and closing inventory. Usually the opening inventory will be given, it will be the closing inventory from the previous year, but for your closing inventory, you need to make sure that you calculate it correctly. So let's look at an actual question. Um, you can see in the description below which question this was from the question bank. Um, uh, here you can see our cost of sales is broken up into opening inventory, production and closing inventory. In this case, the production costs were all grouped together. You can do that. What they did was the production units. You can see it was the same as sales here. So in this case, there would not have been a difference between variable and absorption costing profits. So the production units and they multiplied by the full cost. That is the the total cost per unit. So that inc includes all our material, labor, and overheads. So you can see that there. So And they show our calculation. Practically in a question, just good exam technique, you put a reference there, working one, and here you put a reference, working one, and the marker knows then where that 1934 came from. So then that's our cost of sales. There was no opening or close, of no overall under allocation in this question. And you can see then we get our gross profit. And then we deduct our sales and distribution costs. So that's all our non-manufacturing costs to get to profit. Let's look at another one. Um, here you can see it was split. The production cost was split between direct material and labor, variable production overheads, and then fixed production overheads. Remember this fixed production overheads figure here is the allocated fixed manufacturing overheads. So it's the actual units times the predetermined overhead allocation rate. That's why we have this over or under recovery. And here you can see they deducted from cost of sale. So what does that mean? It means we had a over recovery. It means our actual was less than this allocated fixed manufacturing overheads. So we reduce the allocated fixed manufacturing overheads to get to actual. So the actual fixed manufacturing overheads must always be the same or equal to the allocated fixed overheads 
and the overall under recovery together. Um, what else? So on the previous example, something I remembered now is to show you how the opening inventory and the closing inventory could differ. And this is where it's important, where first in, first out, and weighted average is important. You'll see the current year production cost per unit is the same as the closing inventory. So this would indicate that this is first in, first out. And the opening inventory is different because that came from last year. So there could have been price increases, etc. So make sure that you read the information carefully. And what is it very important here is that you understand or, or know the format very well. You must do, be able to do this with eyes closed. You must know how to calculate each and every one of these line items before you look at the question. And then you must go and read the question and find the information you're looking for. Don't just start dumping figures from the scenario. There might be too much information. So you need to know what you're working towards and then where to get the information from.